this project, you're going to need some type of woven non-stretch fabric, your bare pattern, which I will link to below in the description. And this is actually the original prototype. The one that I create for you to print out for free will probably have some more helpful markings on it. You'll also need some embroidery floss and a hand sewing needle, scissors, and some straight pins. You'll also want some fiber fill or some type of stuffing. I also use a sewing machine for this, so that is helpful as well. First, after you print your pattern, you're going to pin down each piece. You will need two body pieces and four ear pieces. For the front piece, you'll want to mark your face. So use a pencil to draw over the original markings. And then when you have those drawn, you can flip it over and where the pencil mark was, rub it until it transfers. If you find it difficult to cut the pieces out with the pattern pinned to the fabric, simply trace around carefully and then cut it out. Now you should have two body pieces and four ear pieces. So first, with the right sides together, and with this linen there is no right or wrong side, so it doesn't matter. You want to sew around the top rounded edge using a 3 8 inch seam allowance. Once you've sewn around the top edges, you can clip your curves, being careful to not cut into the stitching, but to cut right up to it. Clipping this seam allowance will help when you turn your ear right side out. So turn both ears right side out. And you can press them with an iron, or if you're using linen, you can just use your fingers. Now with the right side or the outer side facing you, lay it down flat, take your ear, and then fold it like this so that there's a bit of an overlap here and it's kind of pleated. And using these pattern marks as a guide, place your bare ears so that the edges line up and pin that down. You can then stitch close to the edge here, being very careful to not stitch into your pin. Now you can thread your needle and stitch your face on with your embroidery floss. When you've finished the ears and face, you can pin the two body pieces together with the right sides facing each other and stitch around using a 3 8 inch seam allowance, but be sure to leave an opening here of a few inches. Once you've stitched around the bare body, you can clip all your curves and turn the bare right side out. Now you can begin to stuff your bear with fiber fill. After you've stuffed your bear, you can take some regular thread and a needle and whip stitch or ladder stitch this hole shut.
thank you so much for watching. If you enjoyed this video, go ahead and give it a like. Let me know also if you have any questions. Leave a comment below and I will respond as soon as I can.